Hey, what up, guys? It's Desert Black Cat, and today I'm going to be showing you a raid in Carte. It took us 53 minutes to complete the easy raid, which is a, which is shameful, but we have sucky cards, so we're going to show you how we did it. So you'll see Camp is on the left, I'm in the middle, and Hollow is on the right. Uh, primarily, uh, what we're mainly going to be doing is just uh, me and Camp are going to be uh, defending for Hollow, who's going to be attacking. Um, now I'm in the middle, uh, camp is on the left of me, hollow is on the right of me, just so you get a sense of where everybody's at. Now, when starting out, one of you wants to put one card in mana zone and summon a level 1 monster, uh, so that way he can be summoned in defense mode and tank the brunt of the attack from the very OP monster on the other side that the AI holds. Now, when playing a raid, you want to get a lot of creatures that basically boost or give yourself health or can boost and give somebody um, give your main attacking card health or AP um, as you're watching this game you'll see what I'm talking about but you're gonna want to build a deck with a lot of uh, cards that just give other cards with skills HP or AP and you want primarily HP cards and you want to protect those cards that give out HP now, for example, in my deck, I'm going to have a lot of little angels that I need to protect with a lot of my other cards. Uh, the little angels provide HP to the main card we're, pull we're, we're boosting up, uh, and we're going to be boosting up Hollow's Errant Warrior. Uh, so if you look out, you can see that Hollow's Errant Warrior is already starting to get boosted uh, from, the, um, from the HP that we're providing it. And we're, what we're going to try to do is getting up so high that it could take out all six monsters at once. That's right, we're going to get it all the way up to where it could take out all six monsters in a row. One of the biggest issues with raid mode is that every turn we lose one health on our heroes. Uh, and the heroes are the bigger cards um, that are out front. You can see the camp has a white dude with a sword. I have some weird dragon thing. And Hollow has some dark dude with a crow or something, a bird up at the top or whatever. And uh, so you'll see every turn that we lose one health automatically. And this is kind of why we have specialized tarot cards that help give our champions... Um, the help give our champions health uh, when they're in need. We also play a lot of cards to defend our little angels, our cards that boost up the errant warriors, they, that when destroyed uh, because they're defending, they also give you health towards your hero. So this is how, gonna, how you're going to stay alive, is by also having, um, is by defending with champs that will give your heroes health. And also having some champs, uh, like for example Unicorn, that will give your hero uh, 1 HP when using its skill. Okarte is a uh, free game to play, so you can go and download it. It's very similar to Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh, I would even venture to say. Um, I wouldn't say Pokemon, but probably Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic are real similar to Karte. Um, it's a really cool game. I like it. Um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of Korean and Japanese people playing it right now. I don't really see too many Americans playing it. Uh, and what's really cool is that uh, is that there's a Japanese team who did this raid and they did it in seven minutes, and it's taking us 53 minutes to complete this raid. Uh, so it just shows you the amount of cards that are out there. We have really basic decks that we're using that we were able to modify. Also, in Karte, you don't have to do raids like this where you're battling one super AI. You could go and do a 1v1 against a normal AI. Uh, you can even 1v1 your friends, stuff to that effect. Uh, so it's really cool there as well. And if you're interested in card games uh, like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering, I would definitely say uh, give Karte a chance. Uh, it's free to play. There's there's no uh, money to there's no money uh, that you have to you don't have to purchase a game or anything to that effect. You can spend some money in game on buying uh, different decks, but you can also earn those decks just through regular game play or gameplay or doing raids and different stuff to that effect. Uh, as you can see now, we're really boosting up uh, Errant Warrior on the Hollow side. 
um, really comboing um, right now really well, uh, and we're figuring out a lot of the gears. Uh, at first, you'll see us struggling to see who goes first and uh, who goes where, but at the end, we really get it together. And you see all those blue lines right now on uh, Errant Warrior, uh, Hollow's top left card. Uh, we're just boosting it up right now, and he's getting major boosts. Uh, so this way, he'll be able to fight these super monsters that are on the AI side and take them out. Uh, so feel free to download this game. I'll put a download link uh, at the bottom if you're interested in downloading it and trying it out. Um, and then also, with this, um, I think it's a fun game. Uh, it's definitely cool because when I'm playing League of Legends, I can be playing against an AI and then pause it while the League of Legends game starts. Um, and it's really cool to that effect uh, because I don't have to um, waste my time pretty much waiting for people to get in the game lobby and starting the game, stuff to that effect, and going through the champ select. Uh, so it's a cool side game as well. Now to uh, successfully defeat all six monsters, we're going to need to get that Errant Warrior up to 81 uh, HP and then a really beefy attack to where he can take out the opposing um, monsters. Uh, as you can see here, um, protecting we're all protecting the um, little angels. Uh, we find them really effective because they're cheap to summon, their skills are cheap to use. Uh, I even have a unicorn as well to provide health to either myself or camp or hollow if, need, if needed. Um, and you can see we're even using uh, Cure to help boost up uh, the Errant Warrior. And I like this part right here because you just see all the lines just boosting up Errant Warrior and uh, boosting him up. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I know that this is sped up, but after we boost Errant Warrior, you're going to see the AI attack uh, one of the little angels. And you're going to see me defend uh, the little angel then with one of my cards. Um, and it's going to provide another boost uh, by the card being defended and being destroyed by the AR card, AI card. It's actually going to boost up Errant Warrior. Uh, so these are the type of cards that you're looking for, that when they also die uh, defending, that they can also get, provide a boost. Uh, so you're going to want to go ahead and get these. Here it is. Now, after these uh, next couple boosts, uh, we're going to have 81 HP on the dot. It comes right down to the dot, which is pretty cool. Uh, and at this point, what's going to happen is the strategy is going to kind of change. Because once you just start, start destroying these AI monsters, they're going to start wiping um, your whole field uh, and all the creatures that you have on the field currently. Um, and so when that happens, it's just really all hollows play at that point because he's the attacker. Uh, you don't really want to do anything too much uh, since you're playing defense because Hollow's going to be able to take care of everything now. Uh, and it's going to go quicker if he's just the one that's uh, if he's just the one that's playing at this point. Because uh, if you're trying to play out cards and you're on the defensive side, it's not really needed at this point. Uh, so just let the attacker do his thing. Uh, and he'll defend you. He'll put out cards to defend you at the same time. Uh, you just got to keep spamming the done button or the F1 button uh, to keep the game moving fast. And you'll see what I'm talking about uh, because this will be the last boost right here to Errant Warrior that'll give us 81. I'll even slow down the gameplay some uh, so you can see exactly what's going on at that point when he starts attacking. Bam! One AI monster gone. Now every time you destroy an AI monster, it does uh, 10 damage to a, the, the AI hero. So he starts out with 60 health, basically the 6 monsters are going to be equal to 60. So every time Hollow continues to attack, it's just going to wipe out some of our cards every time he takes down a monster. And you got to also remember that since you lose the health every turn, that it's important to boost up uh, your hero. Um, make sure that you have um, enough HP on your heroes at this point to survive to the last battle. And then taking a look here, Hollow will continue to, to put down his defensive monsters. He's mainly got the only defensive monsters now on the field. Even though me can can play some, we're not going to do so uh, just so Hollow can hurry up and finish this because at this point it's really late in the game you're looking at probably about 50 minutes at this point you just want to try to finish it 
My biggest issue with Carte is that there's not a confirm out button. You always have to confirm in this game, and there should be an option just to confirm through the turn. Uh, it confirmed through the opponent's turn, especially at this point, uh, because Hollow can't play unless we hit our confirm buttons, and so we have to be actively paying attention to the game. Uh, and to hit the confirm button every time just so he can play. Um, you also get a sense now because I slowed it down to just the regular speed here on how the regular speed is. It's going to be a very slow game if you're not hitting the confirm button every time. Hollow's trying to take out the last three monsters here that are on the field. Uh, so he'll need to at least keep uh, two monsters defended once he takes that one out to protect us from getting attacked, which he does. Uh, and then this will be effective because those monsters will target the uh, defended monsters uh, instead of our hero heroes because they know that they can be blocked uh, while Hollow continues to take them out at one at a time. Alright, so I don't know how many of these uh, Carte videos I'm going to be doing. Uh, I primarily focus on League of Legends videos, uh, but if you want to check out my channel and subscribe, please do so. Uh, special thanks to Hollow Camp. Uh, this is actually my first raid that I've done, uh, and I've I've had and Hollow help walk me through a whole deck on what we needed uh, to kind of complete this type of raid. Um, and this is really a raid if you have weak cards or you're just starting out. This is kind of what you want to focus on. Uh, and uh, give me a shout out uh, if you're in the game. Uh, I had to take off the it's Dez. Black Cat, so uh, it's D-E-S. It wouldn't do my full name on the game. Uh, or check out Hollow Camp. I know uh, Hollow Camp are pretty good at this game as well. And we all play League of Legends. Uh, it's Campoon for Camp, uh, Desert Black Cat for me, and Hollow Dreams uh, plays uh, League of Legends as well. And they're all good players. Special shout out to um, just the Supreme, Supreme King One. Uh, he also plays a lot with us and helps us with our videos. Uh, so, and this is basically how the ending of Carte goes. You have one monster left, one in defensive mode, and he's going to take them all out. And once you uh, finish defeating the, uh, once you finish defeating the AI, uh, you'll get the you win screen, and then you get to see your stats, and you get to select your reward. Uh, camp uh, levels up. This is a really quick way to level up your character, uh, which is why he's level one. Uh, and then uh, taking a look here, really, uh, it's a fun game, so if you guys want to play it, I'll put a download link in the below, uh, you should definitely check it out.